really weird human body facts that I can guarantee you didn't know. About a minute before you even start exercising, your heart rate will actually involuntarily increase in anticipation. You know, if you actually exercised. The smell of rain is caused by a bacteria called geosemin, and the human nose is extremely sensitive to it. Like, we can smell rain better than sharks can smell blood. The average boner uses about two tablespoons of blood to become erect. About the same amount of blood that's inside of a gerbil. So guys, you're welcome. Next time you have a boner, you're gonna think of a gerbil and probably lose it. Or not, depending on what you're into. Dr. Parkinstein's tip of the day number five, how to make liquid glue. Boil a quart of water. To this water, add one ounce of borax. When the borax is melted and dissolved in the water, add in eight ounces of pure shellac. You can buy this on Amazon or eBay. Boil this mixture until your shellac dissolves in it. You can also stir this to speed up the process. You can add more shellac if the mixture is too thin. When the glue cools, it should be about this consistency. Apply the glue with a paintbrush. Human, this is not meant to be impolite, but I must inquire. In a world full of terrifying creatures, ones with super strength, flight, venom, and all sorts, how is it that your kind rose to be the top? Pointy technology and patience. You will have to elaborate further. Oh, well, it's very simple. We put all our chips into items that were pointy and sharp, we waited for animals to get tired, and we poked them to death. Okay, well that explains how you survive, but not how you dominate. The pointy technology grew to be quite advanced. You really just poked several species into extinction. Yeah, mostly just for fun. Well, here's hoping you never get bored around me. This is a video of a tooth being compressed and teeth are made out of ceramic materials, which is the class of materials that's designed to perform really, really well in compression. Now, when you take a bite out of food, the average amount of force that you exert is anywhere between like 50 to 100 kilograms. So if you look, teeth were designed to be a lot freaking stronger. Scientists have just made the first ever human pig. Scientists at the Salk Institute made a major breakthrough with bioengineering. They have created a part human, part pig embryo with both human and pig DNA. Although this sounds and looks terrifying, this could actually save so many of us. This is because we may now be able to harvest human tissue and organs to address the worldwide shortage of organ donors. The first block hits the second, transferring all of its momentum, then the second one bounces off the wall, and then transfers all of its momentum back to the first, which then sails off towards infinity. Three total clacks. What about if the first block was 100 times the mass of the second one? I promise I will explain to you all the relevant physics in due course. It's not entirely obvious how you would predict the dynamics here, but in the spirit of getting to the punchline, let's watch what happens. The second one will keep bouncing back and forth between the wall and the first block, 100 times its mass, like a satisfying game of breakout slowly and discreetly redirecting that first block's momentum to point in the opposite direction. In total, there will be 31 collisions before each block is sliding off towards infinity, never to be touched again. What if the first block was 10,000 times the mass of the second one? In that case, there would be quite a few more clacks, all happening very rapidly at one point, So the reason why we think dinosaurs went extinct due to an asteroid impact is because there's a ton of evidence. The crater formed from the asteroid was found in Mexico. It's buried under soft sediment, but its shape is still held by granite. And scientists also found it by mapping the strength of the gravity field over that area. This is a reconstruction of what it most likely looks like right after the asteroid impact. I also said that the explosion of the asteroid created a huge cloud of flaming debris that broiled the surface of the planet. The contents of that debris included iridium, which is an extraterrestrial element very 
very common in asteroids. Iridium has been found in a very thin layer all around the world, and always in the soil layer that corresponds with the date of the extinction 66 million years ago. And since the flaming debris broiled the surface of the planet, that iridium layer is always followed by a fire deposit, where the land was literally burnt to a crisp. That being said, it's very likely that the non-avian dinosaurs went extinct due to an asteroid impact. Among us in real life. Sus, sus. It's time for everyone's favorite game show, Where's the Giant Chinese Rocket Gonna Land? And tonight, we've got answers. This 21-ton uncontrolled Chinese rocket stage is going to begin re-entry between 4.30 p.m. tomorrow and 8.15 a.m. Sunday, Eastern Time. For those of us in the United States, that gives us just six possible chances to see the rocket burn up and hopefully not get hit by it. You can pause to look at this or you can see the full image on my Twitter. There's about a 7% chance that the rocket will re-enter and break up over North America, starting at around 11.20 p.m. tomorrow and ending around 6.50 a.m. on Sunday. Anyone within four to 500 miles of the re-entry point is gonna be able to see the sky full of burning debris. And so while the chance of this hitting you is extraordinarily low, the chance of getting to see it is actually pretty good. So figure out where and when you need to be to see it.